Hey everyone, welcome to another PFR report. I'm Miles McGovney, this is Pat Holloway. So today you're joining us in the tillage study here at the Colfax, Iowa site. So within this study, in both corn and soybeans, we have five different treatments. We have conventional tillage, strip till, deep rip, vertical tillage, and no-till. So when we planted this study April 27th, soil temperatures were about that 58 to 59 degree mark in all the worked ground, and they were about six degrees cooler in the no-till ground, so at that 52 to 53 degree area. We had excellent soil moisture within all the different strips as well, so we had a really good spring whenever it came planting time. So Pat, do you kind of want to describe some pros and cons that we might experience within these different tillage practices? In, in southwest Iowa, the area that I cover, and, and as much of the Corn Belt experienced also, we had a, a very cool April with the last week or so in southwest Iowa turning off uh, warmer. Uh, but but the, the main thing that I like to talk about is how dry we were through most of April. We did catch some snows at a, a time or two there early on, but we really didn't get much rain that we typically see in April. So as we look at some of the pros and cons of these tillage practices, uh, we think of conventional till or, or any sort of tillage as uh, one having more dark soil on the surface so that soil warms up obviously a little quicker but also it dries out a little quicker in that situation. But this year where we were cold and dry, uh, and then when we turned off warm, the, the moisture conditions were actually very good in all those different uh, till, whether it was tilled or no till. But we did see that temperature difference as Miles, Miles alluded to, we were about six degrees cooler uh, at this PFR site here in Colfax. Uh, comparing our no-till soil temperatures to that strip till. And if we look at some more pros and cons, so with tillage, we talked about it warming up earlier and drying out quicker, but we also, the, some of the cons to the tillage is it breaks up that, that structure, that, that natural soil structure we see in more of a no-till system, which causes uh, rain to, to be much slower to infiltrate in that situation. So that, that's one of the cons of that. With no-till, we see that, we talked about it being cooler, being a con, but, it, but with the no-till system and that better soil structure on the surface, we see quicker infiltration, along with that, that residue that's there uh, helps keep that soil in place when we get heavy rain events. And Miles, you'd mentioned to me, you'd done a test out here uh, showing kind of the differences in those soil particles in no-till versus a tillage system. Yeah, so a really good way to do this uh, this test is actually called a slake test. And so what I did was come out here and I got soil samples from the conventional till area and from the no-till area and put them in jars of water. And you can really see the difference in soil aggregation between these two different tillage systems and just how well the soil particles actually cling together in the no-till system versus conventional till. So that wraps up this PFR report of the tillage study. If you have any questions, just comment below with the hashtag AskPFR. Thank you.